All right, let's do some approximating using partial derivatives. So what we have here is we have our function we want to evaluate negative 0 0.99 comma negative 8.06. Um, but we're given a little bit of information about a point that's very, very close to the one that we're trying to approximate. All right, so we, we know that if you plug in negative 8, 1, negative 8, we get 10 out. We have the partial derivative with respect to x of negative 1, negative 8 is 1.5. And then the partial derivative with respect to y is 8.1. So to get this approximation, let's fill into our formula over on the right-hand side. So this is going to be f of x comma y. It's going to be approximately, we can fill in, this is going to be our a, and this is going to be our b as we fill in. Um, we can say that when you plug in f of negative 1, negative 8, we get 10 out plus the partial derivative with respect to x of negative one, negative eight, we can put 1.5 in there. And then we have x minus our a value. Well, our a value is negative one. So x minus a negative one is x plus one, plus the partial derivative with respect to y of negative eight, negative one is 8.1. And then we'll leave this as y minus our b value. y minus a negative eight is y plus eight. <coughs> Now let's use it to actually approximate the one we, we care about. It's a point very close to the negative one, negative eight. So to evaluate this, we'll plug in negative 0 0.99 comma negative 8.06. And that's replacing our X and our Y in the formula over on the right hand side. So we can say that's gonna be 10 plus 1.5 multiplied by negative 0 0.99 plus one plus 8.1, and then plugging in our y value, negative 8.06 plus eight. And we could reduce this down if we wanted to a little bit. This is 10 plus 1.5 multiplied by 0 0.01 plus 8.1 multiplied by negative 0 0.06. And then get this into our calculators and go ahead and get an approximation for this. I got this to be 9.529 is my approximation. All right, so as you get these set up, um, on this one, we didn't have to actually calculate the partial derivative with respect to x or partial derivative with respect to y. So this was a little bit easier, but just fill in strategically everything into the formula as you go. Uh, take your time on reducing down. All right, hope this helps out on getting some approximations. Good luck.